going on, everyone? Um, what is it? Thursday? I don't even know what day it is. I know it's Thursday night. Don't know what day of the month, though. But, kind of wonder if I can get everyone's uh, input on this shit. So, I filled out a bunch of applications when uh, Kiwi had me doing the intermodal thing. When they knew that I didn't want to do it, they had me regional for like two weeks to tease me, right? And then they put me back in intermodal. Now... The two, three weeks that they had me back in intermodal, they, probably like a month actually, um, I was filling out a bunch of applications, you know, I would complain like every day about having to do intermodal, um, I even explained to them that the more I do this, the slower I will become, so unless you give me an incentive to get my job done, I'm not doing it. Like, I, I literally went slower. I literally tried to get fired, and they would not fire me. Like, me being the owner-operator that I was for 15 years, right? If I had a driver do what I did, I would have fired myself. That's how much I tried to get fired. So, between filling on applications, acting a fool at work like that, and with contacting the Kiwis to explain to them what's going on and what I want to do. So now they got me doing regional. Supposedly. We'll find out. Um, I'm no longer paid by the hour. I'm now paid percentage, which means I'm actually a regional driver because the local people are all per hour basis. Um, and even if you are what they call like semi-regional, um, even when you're on the road, you're still getting paid per hour. But then when you come back into the cities, you're doing local work, right? So now I'm getting paid 26%. So that tells me like maybe I'm actually full-time regional now. Um, my only thing is why now that I got what I wanted from Kiwi do I get people calling me and offering me job positions like um Manning Transfer they offered me a job well they kind of offered me a job but they said that they would have a gig running out to Ohio and back I'd be home on the weekends or down to Texas and back and I'd be home about one or two days throughout the week. Um, and then Valley Transportation called me. They were like, yeah, we're still working on your application. We're waiting for ver verifications to get back. Granted, if I go work for them, I would be back hauling equipment, doing my oversize, doing the shit that I like doing. But I'd be back on the road, and I'd have to be out for like, three to four weeks at one time and then for every week that you're gone you get a day at home so it's like so I have to run for a minimum of three weeks and then when I go home I have three days home the fuck I understand that's the over the road fucking mentality and all that shit but granted if I go do that I'd be doing my heavy haul equipment again but they have one selling factor, or wait, two selling factors. 389 Peterbilt, so hood, truck, and no tarps. They do not believe in tarps. Um, so yeah, I had Manning Transfer, I had Valley Transportation, I had Pat Fruth out of Clearwater. He called me about a job running from Minnesota out to the Northwest and back, or it would also be from Minnesota to California and back. Um, there was that, and then 
it was another company too I can't remember but my thing is, is why do people call when you finally got what you wanted you know I guess you could even clarify that with in my situation would be women um it's a, it's the same comparison it's the women want to be a part <laughs> I found out that women want to be real close to me and try to be that girlfriend thing if they know I'm with someone but yet as soon as I am not with someone they don't want nothing to do with me you know it's kind of like the jobs as soon as I find out that this isn't what I want or I'm just going to start looking for something else I can't find a fucking job but yet the minute that I kind of have what I want everything's like coming towards me it's like what the fuck excuse my language y'all I just don't get it when I was looking for something nothing now that I kind of have what I want now I get all these job offers so I don't know what, what I'm going to do yet Still, still kind of in the air. I haven't really decided on nothing. Plus, they haven't really fully offered me a position yet. Um, I really don't want to go back on the road again. But with Valley Express, it would be a hood. Uh, it would have APU, inverter, fridge all that so I can eat healthy on the road I can prep my meals the only bad thing is again I would have no life and every three months I'd have to come home do my dentist checkup do my diabetes checkup I guess that'd be something to talk to Valley about about are you guys good with that but I don't know Kind of what's your input, people? What do you think? Should I stay with what I am? Give it a shot. See if they're actually going to stay in by the by, stand by their word. Or should I say screw it and go to something else again? The only problem is, is the trucking industry as a whole. Um, all these recruiters are the same. Every freaking one of them. I swear to God, they are a used car salesperson that could not hack it. So the next best thing is be a recruiter for a trucking company. Which basically means you lie and you tell people what they want to hear just to get that guy or girl, um into the driver's seat oh you want to be home every week no problem we can make that happen you get in there uh what happened to me being home every week well we're not gonna be able to do that you know it's like just be up front be honest even if you know that the person is not gonna like your answer you know you got to let the people know that when they come to work for you, here's what they should expect. That's part of my problem with how many jobs I've had in the past is that no one wants to be honest. No one wants to be upfront, And that's partially the reason why I have so many freaking jobs in the last three years. That's part of the re that's part of the problem with trying to find a place to work, is that you know I've had a lot of jobs in the last three years. Granted, I've also had a lot of legal problems at the same time, but you know when it comes to just driving jobs, it's that's the worst part of it is that 
you know, everyone wants to tell you a story to get you into that seat. And then once you get into that seat and you find out it's not what they promised you, it's not what they told you, you know, it's like, what do you do? So, kind of, I don't know, just kind of putting it out there, seeing what people have to say about it, trying to get other people's opinions on it. I've talked to a couple of my friends about it, and they told me what to do, but like I'm still kind of undecisive what I want to do but kind of let me know what you guys think all right talk to you later bye